John Lusk here of Lusk Archery Adventures. Serious testing, successful hunting. Thanks for tuning in once again. I've got a new broadhead that I'm testing today from a brand new company that's just started out, a family owned brand new company based in the USA, based out of uh, Michigan. And they've, they're making some really solid looking two blade single bevel broadheads. So in just a minute here, we'll zoom on in here and check these out. And I'll put them to the test using all of my regimen for 2022. And for a detailed description of that, you can read about it in the description box below each of those videos. And that has all the, the scores and the tests, why I do the tests and the scores and how each head performed in it, as well as the price of every broadhead, so forth and so on. And for all these tests, I'm going to be using my Bowtech CP28 set at 72 pounds. I'm using Bishop FOC King Arrows for most of the testing. And then I use the Bishop Fad Eliminators for the really hard impact stuff. So let's zoom on in here and check out this 200 grain two blade single bevel head by Razor. Here's a good look at the Razor 200 grain two blade broadhead. As you can see, it's just a pretty cool looking, sleek, simple design to it. First, let's go through the materials. The blades uh, are made out of A2 tool steel, one solid piece of A2 tool steel brought to a Rockwell hardness of 58. Now, A2 is really an excellent steel to use in a broadhead application because not only can it be brought to a real good hardness like that, but it also is very resistant to impact. It's about double the resistance to impact over typical 420 stainless steel. So that's gonna hold its edge really well. And again, it's 0.062 inches thick. The ferrule is made out of titanium in this 200 grain model. Now in the 250 grain model, it's uh, exactly the same, only it's made out of, the ferrule's made out of steel. And then in the 150 grain model, the, the ferrule is titanium, the same, only the cutting diameter is one and a quarter inches as opposed to this, which is one and three eighths inches. Now, by my measurements, it came out a little less than that, actually like one and five sixteenths inches. And that's not uncommon, especially in a smaller broadhead companies like this, because sometimes the, uh, the blades come from the mill a little bit thicker. And so to make up for the weight, they have to take a little bit off in, in the, uh, the cutting diameter but still, it's pretty inconsequential, okay? So you got one in five sixteenths inches of cut with very thick blades. And these blades actually came out 0.064 inches thick. That's why the diameter is just a little bit less to make up for that weight. Now they advertise that each of their heads are uh, within weight tolerances of plus or minus 10 grains, which is really minimal when you're shooting. I, you know, sometimes people freak out over a grain or two and it, it's really inconsequential. It's like a couple drops of water on your, your arrow or something. So uh, I'm fine with those tolerances. Now you also notice in the ferrule itself that there's two opposing bolts, okay? There's like a head to the bolt going that way and a head to the bolt going that way. There's two to give it extra durability and they're opposing to make sure that they're balanced as opposed to just having the head of a bolt on one side. That way they make sure that it's really going to be well balanced and spin very true. You also notice that uh, there's a single bevel sharpening. You can order it in left or right. I have it in a right bevel so it'll rotate uh, to the right in line with my, my veins. Uh, you'll notice that it's got a 25 degree bevel angle that it's sharpened to so it's going to be pretty easy to resharpen and there's just these two edges. Even though there's like this 10 toe tip, uh, there's still just two edges to sharpen. So there's not like some kind of weird funky thing at the front that you have to sharpen at a weird angle. It's very easy to resharpen. So pretty cool head, nice cutting diameter, good thickness, great materials. I look forward to putting this head to the test and see how it performs. Two seventy five. It penetrated seven inches. And here's a really good look at the entrance, and you can see that classic S cut that comes from a quality single bevel head. Three hundred. It 
It penetrated through 55 layers. It rotated 55 degrees at 10 and a half inches. It's in perfect shape after three shots into the MDF. And still in perfect shape after two shots through the steel plate. And here's a good look at the holes in the steel plate. And you can see again that classic S cut from the single bevel, uh, really nice wound channel there. So here's the head after going through the MDF three times and the steel plate two times and then embedding really deeply into the concrete. And as you can see, it broke off on the end, but I don't think that was like just from the shot. It was from me getting it out. <laughs> and it's always a, a problem when they embed really deeply, especially if it's not like a chisel tip, because I got to use a, a, a hammer and a chisel to get it out. And I think I, I broke it off in there. Although, you know, with it being a, a 25 degree bevel it does get pretty thin there in the end and with the rotation it could have possibly broken off in the concrete itself but either way the durability was excellent to be able to embed in the concrete like that and it still uh, spins very well on top of that so what do you think of the 200 grain razor Man, I know the uh, the single bevel two blade market is a pretty competitive one right now, but Razor is doing a great job. I mean, there's a lot that I like about this head. It's just a quality design, quality materials, quality craftsmanship. It performed well in all of the tests there, and I like that it's made 100% uh, in the USA. That's really nice, and I like that you get a wider cut than you do with a lot of the, the two blade heads on the market here. So check out the score sheet and see how it performed in the areas that matter to you the most and see if it might be a good fit for you. But I think, uh, Razor, you've done a great job and I look forward to seeing uh, more of what you come out with in the future. <laughs>